In this simple short video, I will show you how to create a new Instagram account in 2020 from scratch, this time from a computer. If you are a complete beginner on Instagram and you want to create your Instagram account from a computer, then this is the video for you. Hey guys, I'm Lucy from Online Income Success, the place where you can find important and valuable information on how you can make money online. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and remember that you can find all the links to everything we mentioned in this video down below in the description. Instagram is a massive and growing platform and you can use it in two different ways. One is basically socializing, where you can share your photos and moments with your friends and family. And another way is by building a community and monetizing it. If you have your own business or provide any kind of service, then you really want to be on Instagram to grow your brand and grow your business. I will start by showing you how to create your account, then how to set it up, and last, I will give you some tips so you can move around it and make the best of it. So let's begin. First, we need to open our preferred web browser. I will use Google Chrome web browser. Now we just go to the Instagram website. We do this by typing on the URL bar Instagram.com and hit enter. Here we are now on the Instagram web page. There are two ways you can sign up or create an Instagram account. One is by using your Facebook account. You can just click on login with Facebook and follow the steps from there. The other way is by filling out this form with your information. In this tutorial, we will cover the second way. So I am going to fill out this form with dummy information so you can see how easy you can create your Instagram account. You can only have one Instagram account per phone number. So we're going to use an email. So I'm going to enter all of the information that's required in this form. First off, here is my email address and then I'm going to write my full name. Now. Just enter a username you can relate to and that really identifies you. So I am going to use this as my username. Then you must enter a really secure password. After you have filled in all of the information, you can click on the sign up blue button. So now we will configure some different options for Instagram. And the first one is turn on notifications. It says no right away when people follow you or like and comment your photos. You should definitely turn this on because you want to know when all of this is happening so you can respond to it as soon as possible. On this screen you can start following people you like or know. You can just click on the blue follow button and select all the people you want to follow. After you've selected the people you want to follow for now, you can scroll all the way down and click on the get started button. Now here we are on your home screen and technically you are done. You actually have an Instagram account. Now the next thing that you should do immediately is adding your profile photo. You can go to this great circle icon, click there and then find it here and then click again on this circle gray icon. So let's go ahead and choose one from your library. Your profile photo should be a picture of your smiling face very visible looking at the camera or in certain angle. Now you can click on the Instagram logo and this will take you back to your home screen. Here are some Instagram posts from different people that you have chosen to follow. You can like this post by clicking on the heart icon and you can comment on this post by clicking on this button. So here you click you click on this icon and you can write any comment and post it there and click on this icon if you want to share this post these are the different options that you can choose from to share this post you can share it on Facebook, share it to Messenger, share it to Twitter you can share it via email, you can copy the link and we can cancel this action now we can go back to our profile page by clicking on this person icon. Here we are back on our profile page. And we can edit our profile by clicking on this edit profile button. Here we have some of the information we have already entered before and there are some other information that is important that you fill out. 
Here you can change your profile picture and remember your profile picture should be 180 by 180 pixels. So we have our name, we have our username, and we have an email address. Now you want to put in the website you want people to go to. Uh, it can be your YouTube channel, it can be a business page, or it can be any website that you want to drive traffic to. For instance, let's write down our website, lionelonlinebusiness.com. And then you want to enter something into your bio. Your bio is the first thing people will see when they go to your profile, and it needs to be visually compelling. And tell them exactly what they're going to get by following you on Instagram. You should tell them exactly what you do and what valuable information are you going to provide them. For instance, let's write down dig into web design. So basically this will tell people that you're into web design and so this is your value proposition. Now it is very important you go back to your email and you have received an email from Instagram you have to confirm your email address after that, okay? Also, you can enter your phone number here. Let's just try any phone number. This is a dummy account. And you select the gender. For this case, this guy is obviously male. And here it says, include your account when recommending similar accounts people might want to follow. Of course, this is very important that you check mark this because you want to be recommended. And here you submit all of the changes. Click on this blue submit button and our profile has been saved. So now we have an actual Instagram profile complete and we can start posting. It is very important that your account has a theme. That means that all of the posts you upload should be about the same thing. You have to have something that people will want to go to your account for, something they know they can find there. Also, you've got to have that consistency in order to get a large following on your Instagram account, which means you should post two or three times per week. You also want to keep your bio public. Something very important is that you must keep your bio public if this is a business account. So to check that you have your bio public, you should go to this privacy and security settings and make sure this private account option is unmarked. Don't make it private unless it's a private account, you know, for personal use and family stuff. But if it's for your business and you want to be found on Instagram, you should leave this unmarked as it says here. When your account is private, only people you approve can see your photos and videos on Instagram. Okay, so now that we've checked that our account is not private, I will show you how you can post from your computer. Okay, so let's go back to our profile, clicking on the person icon. Let's right click on anywhere on the screen and select the inspect option. Here on this menu, let's choose this second icon which is Toolbar device toolbar. Click on it and then click on the reload button. This is the same menu that shows up on a mobile app. We can hide this screen by clicking here. Now we have all of the menu options as we do on our mobile. Now every time you want to post, you can click on this plus icon and upload the picture you want to use. Okay, so let's choose a picture. And this is our picture and you just click next and write some comment. And you can click on the share button. Here you go, you're sharing your brand new post. And there you go, this is your new post. Now, since this Instagram account is meant for Lionel's business, it is important that 
you can turn this into a real business account on Instagram. So if what you want to do with this Instagram account is promote your business, you can check out the video we have on turning this into an actual Instagram business account, which gives you a bunch of more features that can help you to create a much bigger community, getting more followers in less time. You can check the link in the top right corner or I will leave the link to that video down below in the description. Now, with this hack I just showed you, you'll be able to use your Instagram account from your computer with all of the same tools you find on your mobile. And I know this is important for many people as it is much easier and faster to prepare and edit your photos and posts from your computer rather than from your phone, right? So if you're finding this information useful, please let me know by writing in the comments below the word Instagrammer. This way we can see how many new people are now part of the Instagram community, okay? And if you want to learn how to make a full-time passive income online, you can check our number one recommendation. It's the first link in the description underneath this video. The best part is that it works worldwide for absolutely anyone, even for complete beginners. Actually, the results you obtain only depend on the love and how much work you put into it. The link to this number one recommended way is right there in the description of this video. So, now that you are all set with your brand new Instagram account. I hope you enjoyed this video, so give it a thumbs up, click that like button, and subscribe to the channel for more videos and important information on Instagram and many other ways in which you can make money online. With that being said, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.